All right, I'm gonna explain how to fix the uh, heated grips on uh, ski -Doo Rev XS, XR, anything that has the digital gauge that looks like this. Um, <clears throat> when you press the button to turn the heater on for the thumb or the grips, it will show an electronic readout of the level of the heater on the sides of the gauge. And the gauge is actually controlling the circuit that turns the heater on. And in my case, uh, my grip stopped working. Thumb heater still worked, but the grips didn't work. So when I flipped over the, I, I took this out of the snowmobile and, and decased it, and it was immediately apparent that this uh, <clears throat> chip right here was raised. It was swollen and burnt looking. I've already replaced it, um, but it's a really easy job if you know what to look for. Um, if you read the wiring diagram, there's a couple pins here. Uh, I think 14 and 15 power the, uh, the grips, and you can do a continuity test between here and the pins on here with the multimeter, and it'll tell you, you know, they'll, it'll read out continuity so you know which one's which. But this one right here is for the grips, and this one's for the thumb warmer. Um, unfortunately, this, uh, this power, I've got the actual technical term for this chip, but, uh, this thing is no longer being manufactured. I was able to find some on eBay. If it'll focus. It's a buck 215 50Y. Uh, I had to ship it from China, but, uh, they're cheap. They're only a dollar or so. Uh, but with shipping, you know, whatever. So I might have 10 bucks in this and getting, uh, I bought two just so I'd have a spare. So <clears throat> the easiest way to, um, to desolder this chip so that you don't ruin or lift the pads on the circuit board is to actually take a pair of cutters like this and just get in there and snip one at a time very carefully, just snip these four pins off. And then you can use your solder iron and desolder the pins one at a time. So you get them hot, grab on it with a little pair of needle nose, uh, just to put a, just to hang on to it, and then put a little uh, heat to it, and it'll the solder will melt, and you'll be able to pull the chip or pull the pins off one at a time. Once you get those four pins off, then you have to heat this up quite a lot. Um, this is the ground; it's also a heat sink. This thing generates a lot of heat because of all the power that goes through it. So you got to hold, you got to put heat on this for quite a while to get this solder to let go. But it wasn't too bad. It did, it did desolder okay. I rec recommend you make sure you're using um, uh, solder with lead in it. This is I use sixty forty lead, uh, tin lead, and uh, tin your iron. If you tin the iron, it'll conduct heat much better and uh, heat it up without burning anything. Yeah, so that's about it.